Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Samsung television that is not changing channels. I'll be going over the easiest fixes in this full tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I'm going to be going over six fixes that will hopefully solve your problem so you can change the channels on your TV again. Now, <clears throat> you should quickly note whether you are changing channels on the TV or your cable box. It, that will sort of change how things work, but essentially you're either going to be operating the channels through your TV or the cable box. And this tutorial will work with either of those situations, but just make note of what is the situation for your TV setup, okay? Number one, the easiest thing that you can do unplug the TV and plug it back in. In modern devices, there are modern uh, te technological features like uh, motherboards, mini computers, microchips, and so forth. By unplugging the TV for about a minute and plugging it back in, you're gonna get a chance to reset the TV. It doesn't even need to be a minute, to be honest with you. It can be 30 seconds or even 15 seconds or even 10 seconds is usually enough to sort of discharge the power. But by doing it for a minute, you know you're good to go, okay? So <clears throat> unplug the TV for about a minute, plug it back in, see if that fixes your problem. Number two is to make sure that the remote is programmed to the cable box. Now you're probably using a remote and you're probably changing channels from your cable box. Make sure the remote that you're using is programmed to the cable box. Now we have quite a few of these remotes throughout the house because we have quite a few of the same type of cable box. And what I've learned is that when my kids take a remote and they're running around the house playing with it, pretending to, you know, play, like pretending to like change channels against the wall. They'll like, you know, if they're playing pretend, they'll like pretend the TV is against the wall. Sometimes the remotes get mixed up and I wonder why the remote isn't working and that's simply because they got swapped. So make sure the remote that you are using is programmed to that cable box or the TV that you're dealing with, okay? I know it sounds silly, but take it from me, I have, I have four young kids, okay? Hence why I make so many videos because I got lots of mouths to feed at the end of the day. Um, but basically with my four young kids, they are creative, they have lots of fun. And I know this video isn't about parenting, but um, you know, by being creative, the converters sort of get moved around the house to different areas. So it happens more often than you, than you can imagine, okay? So make sure you're using the right remote and that it's paired properly. Number three, make sure the remote batteries are working properly. Now, the remote batteries don't have to be dead in order for your remote to not change channels or to not work properly. When they get low, the remote will sort of intermittently start to not work. So maybe it's not changing channels right now because the batteries are low. Maybe tomorrow it's gonna to work and it's gonna change channels when the batteries get juiced up a little bit. So swap the batteries. I mean, batteries are expensive and you should be swapping them regularly on your remote whenever they get sort of low. Anyway, so if, if you notice your remote control or your TV's being a little bit funky, switch the batteries. It's like the first thing that I do and it usually solves the problem for the most part. So that was number three. Make sure that the remote control batteries or the converter batteries are working properly and have enough juice in them to operate properly. Number four is to unplug and plug back in the cable box. So go to the cable box, unplug it, plug it back in. Same thing follows uh, that I said before about modern devices. Very simple. Leave it unplugged for about a minute. It's going to reset and hopefully that will solve your problem. Hopefully it's just a simple update or a software issue that popped up. Okay. Number five is to try manually changing the channel on the TV. So you want to see if, if you're dealing with a TV channel, not a cable box channel, you want to try manually changing the channel. On this TV, there's a little controller over here. You would use this to change the channel, the volume, uh, turn it on and off and so forth. If your cable box has a channel button as well, you can try manually changing the channel on the cable box as well. Uh, but most modern cable boxes don't have those channel buttons, but you got to look at yours to see what the situation is once again. Last but not least is number six, which is to literally get your remote control, okay? And make sure the batteries are fresh, make sure it's the right remote control for the TV or for the cable box, and literally <clears throat> stand very close to it and try and change the channel when you're literally right in front of it. Because you might be trying to change the channel, maybe there's an obstruction, maybe there's some interference with the signal, but literally stand right in front of the TV, point it at wherever you gotta point it at. I think on this TV it's over here. Um, when, when it's powered on, there's a light that appears over here, I believe. But um, yeah, point it exactly where you need to point it, stand like three feet away or five feet away and see if it works in that situation. And that's it, if your Samsung television is not changing channels, um, those are the easiest fixes in this full tutorial for hopefully getting it to change channels again. 
Once again, make sure you know if the TV or the cable box is what does the channel changing. It'll help you get to the solution a little bit faster and a little bit more easily um, by knowing those things. And the more that you know about your setup, the easier that it will be for you to solve the problem as well. And that's if you, that's truly it. Honestly, I really hope you solve the problem because let's face it, you know, I, nowadays we watch a lot of TV um, and when your TV doesn't work, it can be a big deal if you want to watch a show or movie or whatever the case is. So hopefully I've helped you solve your problem. And that is truly it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.